Hello everyone, so autumn has dawned on us and I thought this was the perfect time for another little review preview video. Um, indeed 2016 and especially the end of the year is going to be extremely busy uh, for the chess world. But let's start uh, with the events which have just concluded and I will uh, start with the Tal Memorial. Uh, I will, I've chosen to take you through those events seeing as all of you know the standings by now with a little Twitter recap. So let's start uh, with winner of the Tal Memorial, uh, Jan Nepomniachtchi. As usual, Jan was not a, word of, a man of many words as he tweeted, feels good man, after what, winning what was his first ever uh, super tournament, or his first ever super tournament win, shall I say. Someone else who tweeted um, about the Tal Memorial was World Championship challenger Sergei Karyakin. He tweeted, congratulations at Jan uh, with a convincing victory in Tal Memorial. He played really well both here and in the Olympiad. Uh, one other big story of the Tal Memorial was of course Anish Giri, who became a father during the rest day and he tweeted, happy birthday, Daniel, hashtag son. Then followed that up uh, on the last day with a tweet saying, got my second prize today, getting my first prize tomorrow, hashtag Tal Memorial. Uh, Anish came very close to winning the tournament himself, but it wasn't to be. And I'm sure Daniel is an excellent consolation prize. So once again, from everyone here at Just24, many congratulations to Sopiko and Anish. Uh, the next tournament that has just concluded and which I have actually just returned from is the Isle of Man International uh, and there we had two joint winners, Pavel Ilyanov and Fabiano Caruana with Pavel Ilyanov taking uh, the title on tiebreak and Pavel tweeted after the tournament happy to win IOM chess. Looks like I was infected by Volokitin's virus in the Olympiad, timing of incubation period was optimal. And he followed that up with another tweet accompanied by a photo saying, yes, I won an IOM chess, but you know what? Good company and good food, the most important things in life, if you know what I mean. And there we see a happy Pavel uh, surrounded by his friends, uh, Peter Leko and Salem Saleh. It was also a great tournament for Salem, who entered uh, the world's top 100 and was the first player from UAE to achieve that. The Thai champion Fabiano Caruana also tweeted uh, saying tied for first at Isle of Man with seven and a half out of nine. Couldn't be happier. Congrats to Pavel Ilyanov for a great tournament. Well-deserved victory. So a very fair, um, very nice tweet there from Fabiano who, like Pavel, showed some excellent chess. And Fabiano was accompanied in the Isle of Man by none other than his manager, Lawrence Trent. Lawrence was also very, very busy on Twitter and there you go. Um, if you're fans of crosswords, this you will like this. I'm not going to read them all out, but Lawrence was very busy, uh, as I said, on Twitter during the tournament and you can find all his tweets on his account. Uh, hashtag, uh, not hashtag, at Lawrence Trend I am. Uh, the Isle of Man, as usual, it was not only a very strong event with 50 grandmasters, but also a very convivial one. And there we can see some uh, excellent photos by Alina Lamy, who played in the tournament herself, along with her husband, Erwin. And there are a couple of pictures from the after party uh, at IOM Chess. And she says chess players will remain chess players. In the photos, you can see, well, Lawrence Trant and uh, Fabiano Caruana teaming up for some fun blitz there against Benjamin Bock and Vidit, uh, watching them on numerous grandmasters, Tanya Sajda for one. And then on the right, you can see Hikaru Nakamura playing some fun blitz, waiting for the pri prize giving to begin, watched by his uh, fiance Maria Grazia from Italy. So uh, that is it for the Isle of Man. Another tournament just concluded is the Millionaire Chess in Atlantic City. And it was a massive, massive results for young Darius Swerch uh, from Poland. He managed to overcome uh, Gawain Jones in the final and took home the first prize of th uh, $30,000. Ma uh, Darius is not on Twitter, but he has posted a long um, message on his official Facebook page, if you want to check that out. 
The player who lost out to Darish did tweet, however, that is Gawain Jones saying, Congratulations to Darish on winning Millionaire Chess 3. Great nerves and a worthy winner. My luck finally ran out, but still happy with second. Indeed, Gawain came very, very close uh, to winning the tournament, but it wasn't quite meant to be. Nevertheless, a great performance by both players. Of course, Millionaire Chess, if you did miss it, uh, is worth checking out out if only for the amazing photos by David Lerda. Um, I suggest you all head either to his Twitter account or to the official tournament page. This was probably, this I think was his favorite snap and also mine, an amazing photograph. So make sure to check out his work. That is it for the three uh, super tournaments with, which uh, have just concluded this past week. So let's now take a look at what's coming up and there is a lot, a lot of action. So I'm going to take you to the Chess24 website now, uh, where if you go to the live tournament page, uh, live tournaments page, you will see what's coming up. One of these events is the Under-12 World Cadets Championship. As you can see here, that is starting on October the 19th. And the reason I uh, chose to start with that tournament is because the top seed is none other than the young Pragnananda. I hope I corrected that, uh, I pronounced that correctly. I was lucky enough to interview the young uh, Indian boy in the Isle of Man. He is not only a lovely, lovely uh, child, but he is a very strong chess player. He is the youngest international master in history. And he told me in the Isle of Man that his goal was to become a Grandmaster by um, May next year, which would make him the youngest Grandmaster in history. So I wish him best of luck and I will be keeping an eye uh, on his result in the Under-12 World Championship. Then we have a lot of events starting just this Saturday, so three days from now. And let's, if I scroll down here, one of the events starting is Hogeven and there is an open tournament but there are also two matches. One of them is Nigel Short against women's world champion Hu Yifan and the other one is between the two Dutch players Ivan Sokolov and Jordan van Verweest. So that is going to be exciting. Then we have two big events in Russia and those are the Russian Championship Super Finals. Starting here with the women's tournament you can see the top three seeds are Alexandra uh, Kostaniuk, Valentina Gonina and Natalia Pogonina. Actually, the whole of the women's team from Baku is competing, seeing as Alexandra Goryachkina and Olga Giri are also there. It's a very strong field, 12 players, average rating 24-41, so make sure to keep an eye on that. And then in the uh, men's section, also a 12 player, uh, all play all. Also a very strong field, headed by Alexander Grishuk, followed by our very own Peter Swidler and Anastoy uh, Narkiev. 12 players, average rating 26.84, so that is bound to be exciting. Can Peter Swidler add yet another title to his collection? We shall find out. And then just uh, here in Germany, the Bundesliga, the National League, will resume uh, this weekend with two games to be played, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. And of course, you will be able to follow all of that here. So that is for the tournaments uh, which are starting just this weekend or in the next few days. But let's come to the events of later, uh, later this year. In November, the next big, big, big event is the European Club Cup. And I have prepared a little uh, participants list for you, courtesy of Chess Results. So there you see the players rated, um, well, ranked by rating, not by teams. And uh, you can see there are 30 players rated above 2700 taking part. So that is going to be a big, big, big event. Some massive team, massive teams. You can check uh, all the lines up, lineups out on Chess Results. And it's also my next event because as um, Terrier tweeted this morning, he said, looking forward to seeing Kalista 28 on first board during European Club Cup. Although I expect her to get a tough time, I will indeed be playing there with my English team, Chaddleton. Uh, whether I will play on the first board remains to be seen, but uh, it's an event I'm very much 
looking forward to, then uh, you can see on the official Twitter page of the tournament that there is also the Serbian Open Chess Championship uh, held in Novisad at the same time. So if you're still looking for an uh, open tournament to play in, in November, uh, just head to the website there. It's a great opportunity to play alongside some of the world's best players. Then what else is going on in November? I think you all know it by now. It's of course the World Championship match between Magnus Carlsen and Sergei Karyakin. So what uh, did I prepare for this? Let's head to, of course, Tarje Swenson on Twitter. He tweeted yesterday saying, countdown has started. Today is exactly one month until Carlsen Karyakin. So one month minus one day now and uh, if you wonder what the players have been up to or are up to right now in preparation of the match well Tarje has part of the answer he tweeted just a week ago saying Carlson court preparing for the world championship yesterday this was in Oslo during the Oslo international tournament seeing Magnus there playing uh, table football seemingly very relaxed as usual then uh, you can also tell what Magnus has been up to from his own Twitter. First of all, in the end of September, he was in New York, not only for the Simmel, which you could follow here, but also for the premiere of Disney's uh, Queen of Katfe, and we see him there with Fiona Mutesi, on who the storyline is based. And then just yesterday, uh, Magnus posted saying, getting ready for the play Magnus launch next month. Keep your eyes on this space for updates. So that is uh, what Magnus has been up to lately. Nothing revealed yet about his preparation plans, but uh, someone who did reveal what he was up to is Sergei Karyakin. And if you haven't done it yet, head to our news page where you can read an interview uh, with Karyakin, which has been translated from Russian by Colin yesterday. It's a very interesting interview in which uh, Karyakin reveals, amongst others, that he is heading to Miami very shortly to acclimatize for the tournament and uh, do his final preparation on the East Coast and enjoy some nice weather. So back to Twitter, just to see what Karyakin has been up to there. And the last time he was spotted anywhere was at the closing ceremony of the Tal Memorial. There we see a tweet by Maria Emelianova saying, World Smile Day, Pavel Shinsky, Vladimir Potkin and Sergei Karyakin at the 10th Tal Memorial closing ceremony. And then I showed you the tweet earlier where Sergei had tweeted at Jan Neponeshi to congratulate him. So um, that is it for the World Championship match. It's going to be very exciting. And very soon uh, we will reveal how you can follow the match here on Chess24. So uh, on to December now, the final month of the year. What is going on in December? Well, first of all, the London Classic in the end, uh, in the start of December. It's the final stage of the Grand Chess Tour. Ten players will all play all, but not only. It's also the biggest chess festival in the UK. You can see there in the tweet, tickets and online entry available now. There are many events, there is a FIDE Open, there is a Rapid Play, there are Weekenders. So again, if you fancy to play some chess yourself in uh, December, definitely do consider the London Chess Classic. And then to conclude the year uh, between Christmas and New Year's, we will have the World Rapid and Blitz. And there we see a tweet by tournament organizer Mohamed al Modiaki saying World Rapid and Blitz Championship 2016, open and women. I believe this is a novelty. Um, players are welcome to register now at doachess2016.com. So head there now. That's going to be another exciting event. I expect Magnus Carlsen and all the other best players in the world to be taking part. So that's it for the, my tournament preview. But if you want to read more about this, uh, I suggest you head to our chess calendar, which has just been updated today. There you can see uh, not only what's coming up, you'll find links to the official websites. And if you scroll all the way down, you will also see the completely completed events from this year. So head there now. 
And then one final announcement to conclude this video. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. I will be playing a very special banter blitz and it's one I'm very much looking forward to because I will be joined by one of my best friends, uh, Grandmaster David Howell from England. So for a chance to play David, uh, join us tomorrow at 5 p.m. local time, that is 4 p.m. if you are in the UK. As I said, I can't wait for that. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow.